It's the six month anniversary of my relationship with this bag. This is the eBags Motherload TLS Convertible Junior. This bag has come with me across the world to Thailand, to Belize, uh, up to Northern California. It's been awesome. So this bag has been the perfect size for me. This is the Junior and I'm really happy I purchased this one because it does fit under an airplane seat about halfway packed, so it can work, but you're gonna wanna put this above in the overhead compartment. It's a little too big to have at your feet, especially if it's fully packed. One thing I don't like about this bag is that it's really awkward to carry as a suitcase. So, carrying it like this, it looks kinda awkward right now and it feels awkward. This is an empty bag and when it's actually fully packed, it's pretty uncomfortable to carry it around like this. So I almost always use it backpack style. It did come with a shoulder strap, which I lost within two seconds of getting it. So you can see the backpack straps here. These are really awesome and you can clip them together if you want at the sternum. I usually don't, but if you had something heavy, you're gonna wanna use them. I found that these straps are some of the best backpack straps I've ever used and I wish I had them in all of my bags. But this bag has been overall absolutely awesome for travel. I found that it fits about two to three days of clothes, cosmetics, accessories, electronics, that kind of thing, depending on how heavy you pack. But I successfully took this on a business trip. I've taken it over to Arizona to visit some friends for just a couple of days, and it's been perfect. Since the laptop pocket is back there, you can use it as a business bag. It's pretty classy looking, so you can actually get away with it on a business trip. I actually had one of my coworkers ask me where I got this bag because he liked it so much he went out and bought his own. So you could definitely say it's been a fan favorite for me in the six months that I've had it. After having this bag for about six months, I've realized that there's kind of almost too many pockets, if that is possible. The pocket that I use the most besides the big cavity down here is actually this top pocket. So. What I found is that it's the easiest to access, especially if you slide it under a plane seat. You're not really going to be able to open the big cavity, so you're going to want to put important stuff back here. So I put like my phone, my passport, uh, wallet, anything I need to grab quickly, I have been putting in this bag here. Um, the, the locking feature on the zippers has been really cool, especially when you put it in the overhead compartment because you never know what's going to happen while you're asleep on a plane to Thailand and uh, you don't want anything to get stolen and having just those little locks will help prevent that from happening. I thought I would use this pocket a lot more than I have, but I've mainly been keeping things like hand sanitizer in here that are easy to grab quickly, but I think overall I'm using this top pocket a lot more. This open pocket at the front here has been really great because you can put pencils, business cards, uh, headphones, anything that you kind of want to have handy that you don't want to put in the main body of the backpack, you'll want to put here. I've also shoved some extra pair of clothes in here in case you can't don't have room in the big cavity. Do I still love this bag? Yeah, I still love this bag. It's been so awesome. It's take, come with me on so many trips and I can't wait to use it in the future. There's so many features that I really haven't even used them all yet. When we were in Belize, I had to carry Dallas's backpack because he was taking some photos and I also had to carry my backpack. That got a little difficult, but it was pretty easy to just take the backpack off and grab the top handle and then I put his backpack on because it was a little bit heavier than mine. So handy to be able to do that really quickly without having to change. Putting these straps away only takes a couple of seconds so you can just zip them up if you don't want them flapping around but honestly if you're just looking for something that's actually convertible and can be used as a messenger bag and also a backpack this is a really good option. I'm really still happy that I bought it. I looked at a ton of backpacks online before I bought this one and I'm really happy that I chose this one. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.